the What Why How course with the Ritters. Hi, my name's Natasha and this is a short video about taking part in the Ritter What Why How course online earlier this year. It's transformed my riding and also the way of going of these two ponies. On my left is Lulu, a German warmblood, um, who went lame unfortunately during the course from an injury in the field. So I had to bring in little rescue pony Kimmy, who's a confirmationally challenged fell. I had had contact with the Ritters before because I'd read Thomas's articles online and in magazines about 15 years ago. I visited them in Oregon and had lessons from Shana and Thomas, which were fabulous. But unfortunately, it was too far for them to travel to Scotland to carry on training. I bought Thomas's book, which was incredibly comprehensive, almost encyclopedic. But although my understanding of the process of riding and training improved, I found myself unable somehow to apply it to everyday riding. Given I'd found Thomas's theory and writing so fascinating and understandable, I jumped at the chance to take part when the online course appeared on Facebook. It turned out that it was the missing piece I'd been looking for. The process involved watching videos each week of various exercises and the rationale for doing them, which I fanatically made notes from. I laminated sheets of the exercises to take into the arena and then got a friend roped in to help me count the footfalls and also to do video clips for online feedback from the Ritters. What follows are videos of the progress that the two horses made during the What Why How course and also that Kimmy made when she went on to do the canter course. To put it into perspective how fast progress was in the canter course for Kimmy, within three weeks of doing the course and doing three rides a week, so that's only a total of nine rides, she moved from four beating with very ropey transitions in the canter to a lovely three beat canter, walk canter transitions, half passing canter and starting flying changes. I think the progress was so quick for her because she'd spent two months earlier in the year doing the building blocks in the What Why How course. This is Kimmy, who's about 12 years old and has spent most of her life in a field as she can be very wayward. She's got a sway back and is a little bit small for me. Here she is before the course started, uh, taking off in a canter transition and running straight for the gate of the arena to try and escape. Rearing to the point of almost going over backwards was another trait that she had when she became rather stressed. This clip shows some improvement, but also at the traditional four-beat fell canter, which was difficult to improve. This is me working on doing two half halts on the outside hind before a canter strike off. You'll hear me calling out when I think the outside hind touches down, my friend affirming that for me. Out, out, yep. Up. Yep. Here's the map of the exercise that's coming up, so you can follow along and try it out yourself. And here's Kimmy doing the exercise at the end of the canter course. During the canter course, Kimmy had to put together all the little bits and bobs that she'd been working on during the What, Why, How course. Um, this shows her here just working in trot, doing a 10 metre volte, and then moving into a leg yield. very so often there's just a little adjustment of front end, back end, front end, back end. The next manoeuvre is a passade or a large turn on the haunches. This is the first time she'd um, tried that manoeuvre so I think she put in a good effort. And this is her first ever attempt at a half pass. Who would have thought fells could move so well? Here she goes again, repeating the exercise on the other rein. This is a more tricky rein. It's also trickier for me because I tend to slide a bit over to the right and then she falls out the right shoulder. She's still ever so sensitive so you have to be careful that you don't um, stimulate her too much or she can get a bit panicky. The half pass on the other side, not quite so good. Also my saddle tends to slip because she's such a roly-poly shape with no withers. And here's the second part of the exercise which was done in canter. Again this was one of her first tries at um, leg yield in canter. I 
think if you're on Kimmy's team, she tries very hard to please. This is her first attempt at a flying change. And she kind of changed behind, but then dropped out of canter and then got a little bit flustered and unsure what I was asking her to do. Then off she goes again on the other lead. Into the leg yield. Round the corner in a passade. And then attempted half pass back to the track. A little bit more tricky than in the trot. Heading towards another ask for a flying change. Whee! Moving on to Lulu. Here she is at a competition last year before we started the course with the Ritters. Showing how difficult it can be to go down a centre line. Yes, and here's another little clip from the same test. Running on a bit in the canter, falling out the shoulder. Difficult to steer. Even just warming up in her own arena at home, she could startle spook and have me off very easily. This shows one of my videos that I submitted during the course. She's doing a counter-counter exercise, which she's managing reasonably well. I think the canter at this point was still probably a little bit onward bound and therefore steering went a bit wayward at times. As you can see here, I'm thinking I'm about to leave the arena altogether and then come back in to try and get through my cone gateways. Here's the map of that exercise that Thomas and Shana produce and you get given with the modules in the course. Here's a trot exercise from during the course. She's managing very well and her focus is good so she doesn't mind the dog wandering around whereas previously that would have caused a huge startle and drama. I'm happy with how soft she is and she's springing along and managing to get through the gateways for 10 metre circles. It's the slightly harder part of the manoeuvre, having to do half 10 metre circles with changes of direction. And again, I'm pleased with how she's managing with this exercise. This is an up-to-date video of Lulu. It's now nine months on from the course. She unfortunately had four months off over the summer due to an accident in the field, but she's now back to full health. This shows her warming up in walk. And what I'm happy with is that she's able to lengthen and shorten her walk and follow the bit down. In trot again in warm-up, we were just working on adaptability of a frame. Will she alter a frame? Will she alter a trot? Do half halts go through? Can I direct the half halts to individual legs? And again, there's not much to see, but there's a lot to feel, and certainly it feels an awful lot different than the horse I was riding last year. This is again returning to cone exercises, a familiar part now of any daily riding. Warming up with some 10 metre circles. And again in canter, checking in on how our steering is, how our speed control is, our half halts working. Here's a bit of sideways in the warm up, checking in on are the buttons for sideways there? Is she agreeable to go sideways? Can I control the lengths of the steps? We moved on to do some walk canter transitions from haunches in on a small circle. Again, she's very responsive and I'm happy now with the general quality of her canter. Here's a blind change, it's so smooth you can hardly see it. 
applying changes have now just become part of the course and uh, easily reproducible both reins and of course sometimes they just occur like this one here when I'm not asking for it when I'm doing another exercise but she always obediently changes right back again so we're happy with all the progress we've made. Look into the future and I'll carry on working with Lulu working towards transferring a bit more weight back, ensuring that half halts go through. And also I've just bought a new pony, here he is, called Angel, who has no steering, no brakes, and just can't imagine what it might be like to be able to bend right. So he's going to be a great prospect for the next Ritter course.